Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 8 of my Wii Shop channel video series. In this video I'm going to be downloading all my games that I deleted. I mean I didn't delete any games, I mostly just deleted channels and there's something weird on my monitor. Now I'm going to be downloading the internet channel, actually. I'm going to be downloading the Nintendo channel. First. Some channels had updates, such as uh, Netflix and um, Amazon Prime Video, but most of them didn't really have updates. So I'm going to be downloading the internet or the Nintendo channel now. So we can choose between Wii System Memory or SD card. I don't have an SD card inserted in my Wii console right now. I did yesterday have one inserted. But I took it out because that SD card isn't really for anything other than specific files for one game. It's a regular SD card, not SDHC or SDXC. So it's a 2GB SD card and um, it's kind of a special one. If you know what I'm getting at. Like it's... It's, uh, I use it for Brawl. Uh, so right here we can see the name. This is download confirmation. Nintendo channel. Current Wii points, 700. Wii points to download, zero Wii points, so it costs nothing to download it. Wii points after download, 700 Wii points. Open blocks, 1,006 blocks. Blocks to download, 103 blocks. Blocks after download is 903 blocks will be left. Downloading the software requires zero Wii points and uses 103 blocks in the Wii system memory. Download the software to Wii system memory now. If I hit no, it'll just go back here, but if I want to download it again, uh, okay. Yes, I want to download now. Now it's going to start downloading. Now I like this, um, I like Nintendo's um, progress bar thing for downloading games. I mean, it doesn't show you the percentage, but it's Mario running across the screen. Too bad he didn't hit the last block. Download successful. Now if we go back to the Wii menu, The um, Mario running across the screen thing reminds me of the um, thing on Super Mario 63. So now we've got the Nintendo channel. Oh, this brings back memories. So I need to use the Wii Remote now. You might complain about needing to remove the adapter or the thing no it didn't complain it just does nothing so here's the information here about Nintendo channel um okay yes I will get commercial messages and here's the data sharing settings you can pause it if you ever want to. Yes, I agree. My gameplay data is now set to be transferred to Nintendo automatically. I don't know if that'll actually do anything anymore. Oh. Too bad I can't show you. That's too bad. I'm actually really disappointed. Well, now I have a dead channel on my console, so that's good. Where's my... I mean, I might as well archive the application itself so that... Where is... 
There it is. Music, background music kind of sounds a little bit creepy, though. Well, that makes it feel a little bit better because it's kind of not really around anymore. You know what I really miss? The channel that I really miss? Where is it? I miss this channel. It's too bad you can't use it anymore. You can't even use the Google Earth like interface to just mess around with. I never did use the news channel either. I mean, I used the weather, the forecast channel because it confusion with the weather channel, television channel. So next channel that we're gonna do is the internet channel. I never did download that many things from here. But I guess we can download the internet channel now. Uh, the, I think the only reason why the gift option is still here is because at one point you had to pay for it. I mentioned the other day about that. But at one point you had to pay for the internet channel. Imagine having to pay money to use a web browser now. Ooh, now it's going to be 689 blocks. Oh well. Oh no. I guess now the gift option could be like, Hey, I'm going to send you a web browser. That's a very... That's not a very good gift. A web browser. Unless you're like developing a web browser for someone, then I can see that. But otherwise... Generally, it's not that good, unless it's like an old web browser like um, Netscape or um, NCSA Mosaic. There we go. It showed Mario jumping and hitting the block. Now we're going to go back to the Wii menu and look at the internet channel. And now, why is it doing this? Okay, where's my... There it is. Move you down here. Actually, no. Move you down here. Move you over there. I guess I can show this. I think that's it. Like, it just repeats after that. I'm going to update Netflix. Yeah, update. We system memory. Yeah. Only takes up seven blocks. And it should be done in like two, three seconds or so. Maybe 10 seconds. Oh, and now it appears it's done. So I'm gonna also download the update to um, Amazon Instant Video. Because I kinda wanna have, oh, 74. Wait, that's a small Mario. I did have the larger Marios before. That's interesting. So I guess 
that shows different stuff of the Wii Shop channel, which is really neat. Only a few channels had um, updates like that. So now we see Netflix down here and uh, Amazon Instant Video is over there. Oh, I think the reason why it said that it was downloadable is because I didn't have it downloaded. Here's Netflix and here's Amazon Instant Video. I prefer the Netflix one though. Anyway, back into the Wii Shop channel. Um, Wii channels. And so there's all the information there. I'm gonna download the Skyward Sword Save Data Update channel just because I want to. It shouldn't be too big. This channel software is not a game. If you have not played The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you do not need to use this channel. Uh, I'm just gonna download it anyway just because Sure. Oh, done. Okay, back into Wii channels. How big is the Wii U transfer tool? Oh, add-on content we wear in virtual console software saved on an SD card will not be usable on this Wii console. To access this content on your Wii U console, you must either move the software to the system memory before transferring, or re-download the data from the Wii Shop channel in the Wii menu on your Wii U console after completing the transfer. You can erase unneeded data from the system memory. Your Wii Shop channel history will be transferred to the target Wii console. Sure. I won't actually use this, but... Oh, now we've got Luigi! I never even knew that you could have Luigi as the... Um... Progress bar. I'm not gonna be opening that. Now... Um... I've got Wii U transfer tool. I won't open this. But here's what it sounds like. In the animation is Pikmin carrying over packages. It's kind of neat. Oh, and here's the Skyward Sword Save Data Update channel. So here's what it sounds like. I like how it has actually has some music applied to it. Now I'm going to actually purchase a game. But which one should I purchase? What's this? I've heard that this is pretty good. Thank you. 
I'm trying to decide between, you know... Okay, so the Commodore 64 games were removed from the Wii Shop channel August 2013. You know, I think I'm going to buy um, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. Wait, let's just do Mario. I think I'm gonna do Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels because that's the NES version, not the Super Nintendo version, because I have the Super Nintendo version. Okay, yeah, it does have, does have Mario Bros. I think I'm going to be buying, uh, what's this? Oh, that's a screenshot. The NES version of Super Mario Bros. 2. So, I'm going to be recording a video on my phone in case this has issues when downloading. So I'm going to be download. Use system memory. I can use a Wii Remote Classic Controller or Classic Controller Pro. So it's Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, the NES version. So it only takes 25 blocks to download, 600 Wii points to download. Yes. Oh, Mario and Luigi are swimming through. That's really cool. So download successful. Oh, here's a health and safety warning. Warning health and safety. Before playing, read the operations guide for important information about your health and safety. Press the home button and select operations guide. Also online at nintendo.com slash health safety. This button makes noise when you go over it, but it doesn't change appearance. Kinda of weird. So I can stop the recording on my phone now. That was I'm really upset now. I just I spent my I spent six hundred Wii points on it. I'm glad that I spent it on that and not something else I probably wouldn't play, but it's just really upsetting. Because the Wii Shop channel is closing tomorrow. But now I have it. This is the um, NES version of Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. So we can either choose Mario game or Luigi game. I'm going to choose Luigi game because I prefer Luigi. So... Oh. Oh. That, I don't know if that's a... No, oh, that's a poison mushroom. Oh, no. I've never actually played Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. I mean, the NES version. Oops. Ugh. Obviously, I've played the, um... I've played the Super Nintendo version, but I've never played the, um... The, uh, NES version that was released only in Japan. Yeah, 
Oops. So yeah. So we've got the operations guide. Wow, this feels really slow. There's the operations guide in here. Oops. And it shows all the stuff for it. Saving. How do you save? The number of times you have beaten world level 8-4 is saved. Your high score and current level are not saved. That's interesting. That it saves how many times you beat um, world 8-4. So I'm going to go back to the Wii menu and, um, and then I'm going to go back in and show how it kind of saves your, saves your position in the game. It has like a, a basic save state. I'm going back now. There are a few more things that I want to do a video on. Um, but that's about it. So next time what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing the user guide for Magnetica Twist on the Wii Shop channel. And then I'm going to be showing how Netflix worked. And then in another ch uh, video I'm going to be showing a second... Um, I need to use the bathroom in a minute, uh, so I'll make this quick. And then I'll you be using a secondary Wii console to show deleting the Wii Shop channel account. Okay, goodbye. Oh wait, I need to get this. Oops. Okay. And I need to stop.